It's all about the money. It's all, it's all, like if, that, if that does a million buyers, if that does, I think that Joshua Wilder does a million buyers. Right? So if you're talking about $80, you're talking about, I don't know, $35 or $40 coming into the pot, you're talking about about $35 million worth of revenue coming into the pot. If Showtime want to guarantee $35 or $40 million worth of revenue against their pay-per-view, then we'll talk. But the zone will. So that's who we have to take seriously. We're not interested in speculating because the US pay-per-view market especially for fights like Wilder Joshua, and especially Wilder Fury, is pure speculation. We just don't know, do we? You know, you've got great fights like Ward Kovalev doing 150,000 buys. Golovkin against Jacobs doing 160, 170,000 buys. So we can't afford to speculate on a fight of that magnitude. So I'd rather thank you, The Zone, and take your money. Eddie, Eddie who do I have to see to get a uh, The Zone hat? Well, I don't know. I mean, I haven't even got a DAZN hat. Oh, you know. man. Yeah. With Canelo and Joshua on the zone now, yeah. is the zone the proverbial A side in any network negotiation going forward? Would that be the standard? Well, when you talk about network negotiations, yeah, like, I mean. With, with fighters who are like. No, you know, like, but ultimately, if you want to fight Canelo, you have to be a DAZN fighter. Okay. If you want to fight Joshua, you have to be a DAZN fighter. And this Saturday, three days' time, Demetrius Andrade goes for the world middleweight title. And in 10 days' time, in this room, Danny Jacobs goes for the world middleweight title. So in 10 days time, touch wood, DAZN have the entire roster of middleweight world champions. So people like Charlo, you ain't, you have no fights for you. If you want to be a world middleweight champion, you better join DAZN ASAP.